Bible becomes pretty much meaningless. We, it's all, we, we don't need to meet this afternoon. You don't need to come here every Sunday to worship God if Christ is still, is still uh, is, is not alive. And that's why we are here, we always celebrate God's goodness. We, let, we celebrate God's, what God is doing in our life. And we thank God for our family. And we thank God for this community. Are you thankful that you are part of this community? Of this church? MC, MCM? Say amen! Amen! amen. Yes! Praise the Lord! You know what? You cannot find any more like this community. This is one in the world. That's why you, you, you support, you love this ministry. Because every church, every ministry is like different. And the Lord places you here. And you must be faithful. You must, you must be faithful. This time your Bible read Acts, of, Acts chapter 10 verse 39. Another passage that we can, we can see this afternoon. The fact that we read about the history of the early church in the book of Acts. We discover that the resurrection of Christ was the topic. And they were proclaimed throughout the world. See here in Acts chapter 10. That are 1039. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging on a cross. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses from God had already chosen by us, who ate and drank and gave him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. And the prophet testified about him that everyone who believe, believes in him receives forgiveness of sin through his name. You will see this passage to the disciples. God commanded all of them to share about the Christ's resurrection. Though we did not see in our true naked eyes about Christ's resurrection, we are seeing him personally, but there are a lot of facts or truth in the Bible that truly just Christ was alive. And that's why this afternoon we will see three important points about facts that we need to know. Facts that we need to know. Facts means katotohanan or katunayan na si Kristo ay nabuhay. Na siya ay ating asinasambang Diyos na buhay. He is the living God. The first fact that we need to know, Jesus died for us. Jesus died for you. Say it, someone beside you, Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for me. For all of us. Can you imagine? When Jesus died on the cross, he was, a he, he, he was as dead as you could possibly be. And the mind blower is that he went through the horrible, horrible and death voluntarily. Jesus chose to die that way. That he made that choice because he knew that one day you would be sitting here lost of in your sin and in the, of a savior. Jesus Christ died for me and for you. In 1 Peter 2, 24, he said, He himself bore for our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. He said for us, for all of us, we claim this gift of salvation and become righteous in the sight of God. We are not all worthy. Are you willing to die for a person that you don't know? Probably it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, yes, probably. Or husband or wife. But if a person, if a person you don't know, you are not willing to die. <laughs> yes, Christ don't know us. But he died for you and for her. Huh? No. Of course, it's very difficult for us. Because you are related to other persons that you want to really do that. Jesus Christ gave himself for us, for the ransom of our 
jealousy. We are so blessed. We have the living God. And who's willing. And He did for us. Of course, John 3 16. Who want to recite John 3 16? Please. was our substitute upon the cross. The death was deserved for our sin was placed upon Jesus Christ. We were put on trial for the sin we have committed. Jesus gave himself to us. That's why he's very ashamed. When nakakahiya at kung baga na binigay na pala ng buhay niya sa atin and then we are not giving our best for him. We are giving our life to him. And there's always like reservation. For example, I just come into church on Sunday. Winter time, we complain. It's so cold. We don't want to go up. It's so cold to come to church. And then summer time, it's so hot to go out. It's cold, it's so hot. Napakainin naman para kumunta ng sipa. Pag sa COVID naman, napakalami. Sabi naman na sa kaya, kadadal ka din. You know what? We really love the Lord. Hot. For all, we will love, we will serve them. Amen. Amen. We will serve the Lord. Because He has died for us. And secondly, Jesus rose for you. Ang Panginoon ay nabuhay sa atin. But many kids received like last Easter a basket of eggs. Probably received some type of carbon bunny. We know that the good is about Easter is really not about those gifts. It is about God in human flesh literally rising from the dead and proving that He is exactly who He claimed to be. And after He has been crucified, the women went into this tomb and met the two angels. You see there in Luke 24, 6, 7. Luke 24, 6, 7, He said, He is not here. He has risen. Remember how He told you while He was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over the hands of the sinners, be crucified on the third day, he raised again. Remember how he told the angel last, don't you remember? That is what Jesus had promised. Yun ang pangako na parang mabubuhay ulit siya. And he did. His promise. He rose again. But we remember that his victory over death is proof positive that everything else he claimed about himself is true. When he said, I am the Father, are one. When he said during his ministry that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And all that is true. Jesus rose for you and for me. And the third thing, the past, not only is Jesus Christ rose again, Jesus cares for you. Say someone beside you, probably someone is, someone is you got to minister to them. You say, tell someone beside you, Jesus cares for you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Genuine in your heart, Jesus cares for you. Can you say you know what? What a wonderful promise. Assurance. Jesus cares for me. I don't know what is your condition right now. Probably you have some trouble or your sickness or something. Probably uh, you have a problem right now. But remember, Jesus cares for you. He cares us so much. Napagalit na ka ng iyong tatay. Wala na nga Okay, may problema ka sa trabaho. Bukas para kayang pumasok. Kasi may 
Meron kang ayaw na ang ipang mukha doon dahil in your workplace, you don't want to 